I'm making an indie game called Couch Combat, and it's a split screen FPS with fast paced rounds, small stages, and a few couches. Now, I'm sure that most people just believe that indie developers make games because they enjoy it or something, but don't confuse it, I'm doing this for the money. I actually hate video games, couches, and children, so I need to find a way to maximize profits. And to do that, I need to make sure as many people as possible buy my game. And an important part of that is making sure that the barrier to entry is as low as possible. The barrier to entry is basically just what's stopping literally everybody in existence from purchasing my game. The most obvious factor is its price, and that's why I'm planning on charging $10 for it, which is a relatively low price even for indie game standards. So I think that's a good start. Platform availability is also a big factor, so I have Windows, Mac, and Linux builds set up, and I'm also currently working on making sure that the game is accessible and runs on lower tier hardware somewhat well. But the biggest barrier to entry in my game is that you currently need not only a controller, but also a friend to play the game. Now, I'm pretty sure that friend requirement is quite the challenge for the average Bow 11 viewer, so I'm going to try to fix this by giving the game online multiplayer through Steam. This will let you play with friends or random people online, in theory. Of course, this all depends if I'm actually able to complete online multiplayer, which is easier said than done. As viewers may recall, I've tried this online multiplayer thing before, but it didn't exactly go well. I gave up in like two days, but this time I'll get it, I promise. Maybe. If you want to support the game or are interested in getting it whenever it releases, then it'd be super helpful if you wishlist it on Steam. Wishlisting is free and very helpful for an indie developer like me who doesn't exactly have a marketing budget to speak of. Anyways, enough selling out, it's time for online multiplayer. As I said in the last devlog, I started work with Fishnet for networking. Fishnet is lightweight and modern, and instead of starting inside of Couch Combat, I just put it together a very basic online game with it outside of Couch Combat. And if you're wondering what Fishnet is, well basically it's like a fish, and wait actually that doesn't matter because about 4 seconds into my experience with Fishnet, I realized that since it's so new and small, there's basically no community or forums to answer my questions. And it's overall very very similar to Mirror, so it really is not that different to use. So I'm sorry Fishnet, but I'm not very good at this whole online thing, and having people who actually know what they're doing is very important for me. So I'm gonna have to switch back to Mirror for online development. But as for actual development, well, it wasn't fun. Trying to shove online multiplayer into a game that wasn't designed for it is unsurprisingly very hard. So there was a lot of bug fixing and reworking and slamming my head on my desk. But after seven, yes, seven days of work, I got the very basics of movement syncing between clients. And seeing this stupid arm jump on the screen was one of the most satisfying moments in my entire life. Which is kinda sad. If you're in the same boat as me, trying to add online multiplayer to a local multiplayer game, then well, one, I'm sorry, and two, don't do it. You should absolutely build online multiplayer first, and then add local multiplayer later. It definitely helps to have a little bit more foresight than me, because I'm basically tearing apart the local multiplayer part of the game to make this online part, so it's gonna take major repairs after I'm finished with online to get local multiplayer working again. So I'm really trying not to think about that at the moment, and just focus on online multiplayer. This online multiplayer work is as soul-sucking as you might imagine, so I took small breaks from development to work on something a bit more fun, War Profiteering. I started work on designing a bunch of new guns that are all in various states of completion. I can't really finish them until online multiplayer is done, but I made some very fast progress on them nevertheless. First off, the final area that will be added to the game before release is Fantasy. This means that that area will have things like castles and stuff, but also magic and potions. And this gives me a great opportunity to introduce some unique weapons into the game, since they won't really be guns anymore. First off, and by far the first along out of the new weapons, is the Tome of Fire. It rapidly shoots fireballs at Seek, and it's kinda like the Neo Lear from Halo, just fiery. I really like it so far, it just needs some sort of particles and polish to make it feel better. The other fantasy weapon I made was a bow and arrow. Currently it's just a model with unfinished animation and blender, but it should be fun to use whenever it's done. The other two guns aren't fantasy themes, but I really like the first one. The Boomer. The gun gets its name from boomer shooters like Doom and Quake, and like those games it is a 2D pixel art shotgun. The animations are far from done and there are some layering issues, but it's pretty great. The final gun is basically just a rigged model at this point, but it's a minigun. It'll be like most miniguns, massive magazine, high spread, and fire rate that speeds up over time. But back to online multiplayer, after I got movement working with online multiplayer, I moved on to shooting and pickups. The pickups were fairly easy to get working, I just threw on a network rigid body and made sure that the pickup spawner was networked. Then I made it so that whenever players drop pickups, then it spawns a pickup object on the server as well. But shooting and actually picking up the gun brought a lot more problems for me. One big issue that has plagued me while making the jump to online is that Mirror only allows me to have network scripts on a top parent of a prefab or object. 
so I've had to make lots of small adjustments, move components around, and split the big scripts like shooting and movement into smaller chunks, which doing so is probably a good thing in itself to be fair. Anyways, despite all my work, I currently have yet to solve a very big bug that is impeding my progress. Any player that is not the host cannot pick up guns. The guns actually work just fine now on the host, outside of actually dealing damage, but on the other clients, the pickup command is just never called. So my next big focus is just figuring out that bug. Then I can hopefully move on to switching scenes in multiplayer, getting settings and game options working, and building a new part of the main menu for online play, around with about a billion other things. But you know, I'm sure it will all be worth it whenever it will be possible to play couch combat with toxic 4 year olds around the world. I truly am bringing back the Xbox 360 era of gaming. Thank you to my Patreon, Howard House, who is about 360 times better than everybody else watching this video combined. Bye.